Hey YouTube, I got uh, a TYT MD UV390 Plus radio that I bought from buy2wayradios.com. Um, I'm going to show you how to properly install the cable drivers and get it where you can uh, program this radio. Um, there is a video on their website and it's a little confusing and there are some uh, security issues if you're using Windows 11 and I'll show you how to uh, get around that as well and you can see a comment here by Red Shandy uh, uh, that uh, he said the video was frustrating and he's regretting buying the radio but it's really easy to program this thing once you uh, get the drivers properly installed so I'm going to show you how to do that now so you want to go to to find the drivers you can go to handheld radios here on their home screen and you can select TYT and here's the 390 plus you can select that it's currently out of stock and we're going to go to downloads and here's the cable driver here so you're going to click that and you're going to download it. I already have it so I'm going to skip that and once you have it downloaded locate it so let me go to my downloads and there it is right there so I'm going to unzip this extract all and extract and I already have it so we're just going to skip these files alright so next thing we need to do is open up the device manager so I'm going to open up the device manager and then I'm going to turn on the radio I've already got it hooked up to the computer um, cable securely plugged in to the computer and I'm going to turn it on alright so the computer has now uh, recognize that the radio is hooked up but uh, as you can see in my other other devices I've got this digital radio in USB mode with a uh, yellow warning triangle so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and we're going to uh, update driver and then I'm going to go to browse my computer for drivers and then it already knows where, it at, where it's at but because I've done it before so basically what you do is you look for the folder that you have uh, unzipped and here's mine so I'm going to select that and I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to hit next. It's found it but it's encountered a problem. This is, this is with Windows 11 so we need to fix this uh, before we can continue. So now we need to go into Windows Security Settings. Open that up, go to Windows Security Settings, and we want to go to Device Security. We're going to hit Device Security, and then we're going to go to uh, Core Isolation, and we need to turn off Memory Integrity. Uh, unfortunately, this ha you have to do this as far as I know. I, I do not know of any other workaround other than turning off Memory Integrity. You can turn this off temporarily, uh, program your radio, come back, you need to uninstall or disable the driver, and then turn that back on. So I'm going to turn that off, and we want it to make changes, yes, and we need to restart the computer. So let me pause this video, restart, and then we'll come back where we left off. Okay, we're back. Um, I've turned off the radio, so now we're going to do this again. Now you can see that this is off, um, and if I go back, it now has a warning next to core isolation telling you that there's an issue, but we just created that issue on our own, so let me just minimize this. All right, so let's go back to the device manager. 
We'll go back to other devices, open that up. And there'll be nothing there until we turn on the radio. So I need to turn on the radio. Let's see what we got here. Let's go to USB. All right, there's the ST, STM device in DF, DF, DFU mode. So that's, that's actually what we need to see. So now we should be able to program the radio. So let me just uh, minimize this for now. And now with the software, I've already installed my software, but if you uh, want to use encryption with this, which this uh, UV390 Plus is capable of, you need to download this version here of the programming software, uh, version 2.41. I've already got it installed, so uh, let's open that up now. I'm gonna open it up now, and the first thing you wanna do is read your radio. Click read, and then you have to hit OK. It won't read until you hit this, so hit OK. And now it's reading the data from the radio. And this is what you should do before you attempt to program it. And then when you go to program, it's already got all of your information here. Let me go to zone information. I've got some zones already created. I'm not going to go through my channel list. Um, I just don't want to list it. I hope this uh, information I provided today with this video uh, helps future users to be able to program the radio and uh, especially people like Red Shandy on uh, buy2radios.com's website uh, regretting buying his radio. So I hope this information helps everybody. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. More to come.